Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about microbiology, its history, branches, and the scope. So let's begin. And also, before starting the video, make sure that you have read the description down below. Let's begin. <laughs> Microbiology is the study of microscopic organism that includes bacteria, protozoans, fungi, viruses, algae, and archaea. So basically, living organisms that are too small to be visible with our naked eyes. So we can say it's a scientific study of microscopic organism. So let's go back to the history of it. So Aristotle, who gave the theory of spontaneous generation proposed that life arose from a non-living material. Also, in 13th century, Roger Bacon postulated that diseases are caused by invisible creatures. In 1530, Girolamo Fracastoro proposed that epidemic diseases are caused by transmission through tiny particles or spores. In 1665, Robert Hooke made the first compound microscope and observed the plant cells. And in 1676, Antony van Leeuwenhoek observed bacteria using his own design microscope and also famously known as father of microbiology. Now in 1861, Louis Pasteur rejected the Aristotle concept of spontaneous generation and supported germ theory instead. With him, Robert Koch who gave the germ theory of diseases and Ferdinand Co. Kohn who invented new system for classifying bacteria. So these three were also the founder of modern microbiology. By the Louis Pasteur, he was famous for his dis discoveries of the principle of vaccination, microbial fermentation as pasteurization. So he was also known as the father of bacteriology and also the father of modern microbiology by some. Apart from these, there were more other scientists who have contributed equally, like Hans Christian Gram for the Gram staining dye, and Alexander Fleming giving the drug penicillin, which is very famous. Ali Mechnikov for the discovery of the phagocytosis, and Edward Jenner for giving the vaccination against the smallpox. So these scientists have equally contributed. So now let's talk about the branches of microbiology that include the study of microbes and how microbes can be applied in different industries. So they are divided into two types, one is pure microbiology, one is applied microbiology. So the pure microbiology consists of bacteriology, the study of bacteria, virology that is the study of viruses, mycology, study of fungi, then we have the parasitology that is the study of parasites protozoology study of protozoans mycology the study of algae nematology the study of nematodes and immunology the study of immune system apart from that it also includes how organism can be applied in different industry like medical microbiology food microbiology agricultural microbiology pharmaceutical microbiology microbial biotechnology and industry microbiology so these are the branches of microbiology. Microbiology has got a wide range of scope. So you can go to various pharmaceutical company, cosmetic or dietary fermentation company as a microbiologist or a quality assurance manager. You can also go for the clinical diagnostic lab as a lab technician, researcher or a scientist. And if you are interested in teaching, you can become a teacher, professor or lecturer. I hope you liked the video. You can also connect to us on other social media platform. And hey, thanks for watching.